I hope you're enjoying some sunshine today. And it's Eleanor Grace. I'm with you here today uh, for our Psychic Destiny show. And we're going to be doing some live readings. I'm using my cards here. Now, these are the Ride Away Tarot. And I use these really to get a great psychic link with all of my callers and my crystal ball here as well, of course. Um, this is always a perfect way to really gain that connection. And it's a strong connection that we're wanting to get, to get those messages coming through from spirit, to really hear what that information is, what, what that psychic connection is going to, to mean to you. And of course, that's so important, isn't it? Having that wonderful um, trajectory of what, what is going to happen next in your life. Which way are you going to go? Are you facing a crossroads? Do you know which way to turn? And who is going to be that most important person to you? And that's that's always what we want to know. You know, who is it that really cares for us, that is our partner, that loves us as well, that can take us forward into the future? And that we can look back, of course. You know, some people find it very difficult to be loved, don't they? They just want to be isolated and perhaps on their own. Well, this is a time where now we can take a few peeks into the crystal ball. I will guide you straight into the center here of the crystal. That's where I go to, that's my go-to space. And when we're there, I really like to look in in depth into that space in the center and see what is happening. See whether you perhaps are, are in an isolated space, whether you're going to welcome spirit to you. Let's see if we can see some initials around the people who may mean so much to you and perhaps we'll get a name as well. Your guides often come through with the crystal because we're using a heightened level of um, quartz crystal which is imbued here with Reiki enhancements and psychic powers. So when we connect using the crystal it is a similar effect to when we are with you in person, when we can hold your hand, when I can see you and see exactly who you are and what you look like. On this show, I can hear your voice and we're in different countries, many thousands of miles away from each other, and yet we can still make that connection. So we're going to go to Laurel now in Burlington, Wisconsin. Hello, Laurel. You are through to Eleanor Grace. How are you, Laurel, today? I'm so great, how are you? Yes, yes, very good. I'm here in London, in the United Kingdom, so in England, in fact. So I'm now going to take a couple of cards here for you, Laurel, and just see what comes through, what comes straight through out of the deck. Well, we've got this card here. Now, this is the Seven of Swords. It's all about facing your fears, putting down some of those um, worries and concerns in the face of adversity. So you will have received you know, quite a lot of adverse situations in your life currently. So things may have been difficult, you may have found some obstacles around you, you may also have found that friends haven't been particularly receptive um, to you and haven't been reciprocating really with yeah, everything that you've wanted them to do. Work colleagues, again, could have been testy. However, you are going to prove everybody wrong because, Laurel, you are going to be successful in the face of all of this adversity that is around you. You're going to put your burdens down here because you've got this ten of swords. So, you know, everything's just flopping down. Do you feel as though you have been um, sort of stabbed in the back a little bit? Do you feel as though other people haven't been that that kind towards you or that considerate towards you? What's been going on recently? Do you, do you feel as though that's been something that you've had to sort of really think about? Um, maybe not necessarily for my personal life, but for a loved okay. one, yes. Ah, uh, right. So is 
yeah, that can be very interesting when that happens because it means that that you're so linked to that person that you are actually energizing and bringing forward his worries and his concerns so that that or, or that person's concerns so is that a man is that a partner that you're thinking about it's a it's a man but not a partner okay a son. all right oh your son mm. Okay, so what is it then with a partner? Because I, I just want to go to a partner, a man who uh, perhaps is is part of this. It's, it's part of this deal because you're putting burdens down here and you're making a difference. You know, you're really making a difference, Laurel, to the way that you want to to live your life going forward. Um, and you will understand that because I've seen here in your crystal that there's a new pathway for you, that you're jumping into new beginnings, that you can't do anything other than make those changes. Your son is, I think, perhaps in a difficult situation, but only because of, of his journey. You know, the, the worry and concern is, minimal because you have success in the face of adversity so when you have got all of these difficult situations these adverse problems that are around you you, you can do nothing other than your best and that's what you have done so i think that this is temporary i think that you will be in a position here where nothing is going to be so bad or so difficult and I think also that you really do need now to consider um, your own position within all of this you know within all of this situation um, I, I just feel that success is at your fingertips and you are going to move on because you're moving on here you're getting on with um, with life and you're getting on with work in particular are you working are you Laurel? I am. Yes, yes, I am. What? I have a new biz, a new business that I am okay. quite not quietly launching, but launching, and I've just felt um, very excited about it, but yet don't want okay. to get too excited about it for fear that I may not be successful. I think you will be successful, but I do think that you've got to watch out for some people who may stab you in the back, who, you know, may be difficult, may be envious of your your enthusiasm, your excitement, which is justified and totally genuine. And I get that for yourself. But I, I just want you to be careful because I think you may be too open, too generous, too giving, too trusting, really, of others. And this is a time where you have got to be very quiet about what you're doing because success is yours you're achieving it you've got the world here um you've got literally the world in your hand and you can see all of the potential all of those possibilities and they're great but you have adverse conditions that you will have to um, negotiate first of all. And you can do that. You're clever enough, you're brave enough, you're strong enough to do all of those things. But your cards are saying to you, don't be too trusting and don't be overwhelmed by negativity because it is coming your way. Um, although I think that you've probably had a bit of that already because it's difficult to launch a new product or a new business. It's really hard work. And I think that you just want to take yourself away a little bit, Laurel, um, and literally sort of have a break, you know, get some peace and quiet around you. And that's what I'm feeling here. Looking into the crystal as well. This is important now, um, your crystal ball here, because what I'm seeing is, you know, really quite distinctive um, pathways that are here for you. Spirit are also with you as well. Do you have a Mary Maria? Um, there is somebody with that name that is either in your life in spirit or is coming around you, but I do feel that that's very strong. Do you know that person? My Laura? grandmother's name was Mary. My okay. grandmother's name was Mary. Okay. So Mary is the first word that I said to you. Um, Mary, she's with you. Do you know what? Laurel, she's shining like bright, bright lights towards you. Now, what is it that I can see? It's, it's just like leaves that there it must be a logo or something of yours. It's very, very clear here. Um, 
like two little diamonds, but they're in the shape of a leaf or in the shape of a tree. Um, there's all like little particles. So earrings, there must be earrings that are coming to you. Did she leave you some earrings? I can't see them now. They've gone, ah, oh, here we are. There they are there again. Definitely from Mary. It's a bit like fireworks, you know, sort of a great big constellation of light in the sky. So you must look at the sky. Do you? Do you look at the stars? Do you, do you... Yes, for sure. Yes. Yes. Has he been under the weather? Has he been feeling sort of very oh, overwhelmed with life? That's what I want to say. Sort of just very overwhelmed with life. Is that what's been going on with him? What I feel is that you need to be considerate now, be considerate of your situation and really sort of concentrate on everything that is um, is powerful and possible for you. So I do feel that this is um, a very different situation to, to what you, I, I feel that Mary is sending you these lights. You know, sometimes when that happens, it was so powerful. I was looking into the crystal. I, I could see these diamonds in the crystal and they were like earrings. Do you have diamond earrings that are sort of leaf shaped or like little, little, um, little shapes uh, all around, several different pear shaped type diamonds? Is that something that you own or did your grandmother have? I don't, I don't own any oh. diamond ear. I have, I don't know. Do, do you know they're there? Um, they're coming to you. I, I feel so strongly that she's sending them to you, but diamonds are very important when they're coming through from spirit as a message because it's meaning that you will have great sparkles in your life, great success, and that's there for you for your business. Um, but I, I want you to think about diamonds as well and that image, those images that I've given to you for your business, for a logo, for something that you can use because it's bright and sparkly. So I think that's the message and fireworks are here as well um, from Mary. So I think she, she really wants you to look into the stars in the sky. I think she really wants to make that connection with you. And that is something that I feel you are going to do very successfully. So, um, I wish you well because she's bringing so much love to you and telling you to not be worried, not be concerned. Now, your son, I was asking the question before we lost the link there, um, as whether he'd been unwell or very overwhelmed. Is that true? Is that something that's happened? Yes, both. Okay, so um, you're advocating for him at the moment, aren't you? You are really making some, uh, taking some difficult questions and, and really sort of making other people respond to you. Remember what I said right at the beginning of your reading, which is true for you in this situation, you're not going to lose. And I want you to really keep that very much in your mind. So your business venture, is this going to be um, enabling you to to move. I've got a lot of movement here and it's sort of country roads, but they're going up and down, up and down. So there's a long, long road here. And that's the message that you're being given as well. So it's a long journey that you're going to take. So this business will be successful over a long period of time. But I do feel as though travel and movement is part of it. So what is your business um, mainly concerning? Because I've got beautiful things and uh, long journeys and travel associated to your next phase this is what's coming into your life laurel interesting so what interesting. is your business what is your business um, proposition so it is um selling beauty and wellness products oh it is okay right well that's beauty and the well well-being which is around you anyway um but it does seem to be taking a different pathway so don't be concerned if you've got to sort of try and chop and change and and take on a different sort of product or make a different product um that i feel is perhaps where you should 
you, where you should go and the route that you should take and the place that you should uh, sort of really consider to be the next one for you. So it really is very, very powerful, very positive there, I think, for you. Um, will you be moving? Will you be crossing over either a state line or going more into a different location with this business? Is this a plan, a longer term plan, even a different country, I think? Um, it's all done. It's all on, you know, just social selling. So I sell on social right. media yeah, and yeah, yes, yeah. a global company, but no, I don't see myself moving any time in the next okay. 10 years. Well, the movement, is going all all different roads so that's the expansion for you remember the card that i drew for you as well which was you're holding the world in your hand um so this is about the world and the expansion the global connections as we all have now and hence my call here being enabled with you which wouldn't have been possible many years ago so right. laurel I'm giving you your grandmother with lots of hugs and kisses. She wants to, to give you that and to tell you not to worry. And remember, you will be successful in that face of adversity. So uh, you'll have to fight. You'll, you will. But you would do anyway because businesses that are successful really need every effort and every encouragement in them. So I wish you well. And thank you for joining us on A1R Psychic. Um, show Thank here you today, so Psychic Radio. That's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Best of luck now, Laurel. And I'm through to Alison. Hello, Alison. Are you there? Are you on the line, Alison? Yes, I'm here, Eleanor. How are you? Hello. I'm good. I'm good. Um, being able to get these connections right this evening, it just seems to, I'm in the evening here in London, by the way, and I know that you're in the afternoon there. So, Alison, let me have a little look at you. Now, first of all, Alison, we have got spirits that are pretty strong here today. Um, we've had lots of spirit come through during the show. I have just identified one lady who I could name for the previous caller, but I do want to look very powerfully into your crystal here, um, mainly because I've got some pure quartz going on today and I've got a platform and you can perhaps just see some of those um, wonderful bright lights that are all around your heart. So it's love that I want to connect with you and that love interest as well, Alison, that I feel is so strong because I've got your heart that's pounding and beating here that I can see in the crystal. It's strong, it's good, it's well, but you may have had some worries about blood pressure or heart chakra or literally feeling out of breath. You know, there's some stress that's certainly been around you that um, shouldn't be there. So we are going to try and remove that in this session today. So really trying to allow you to feel that well-being. It's very, very important. Um, so I, I do feel now that you're taking one, two, three, four steps. I've got four steps that are around you here. And they are, oh, I think taking you in, into a time scale because we've got the clock. The clock is on the wall in your crystal. And if you can see it, I'm looking here right into the center. And you probably won't, well, you certainly won't be able to see what I can see, but really do try when you look at this video again, um, really try to look into that center of the crystal. You'll see a blue aurora light, which is very powerful. This is around your heart. So you are being brought love and consistency and apologies as well. There, there are people who I feel, Alison, who've been negative in your life, but they are very sorry, very sorry for lots of things. However, you've got that strong heart and you're persevering, your heart is beating and you are feeling uh, very, very positive. Now, I've got a man here in spirit. Um, it's got a G around his name. I'm sure it's George, Georgie. Um, and a uniform as well. So this this is a person who goes back along, very straightforward. You know, he was very erect, very straight, and standing straight, 
So he's marching towards you, which is lovely. And I do have two ladies as well who are really wanting to say to you that they visited you. I've got a V um, for Victoria, whether that's her name or not, I, I'm not sure, but it's a definite V that I'm being given here. Alison, do you recognize um, the souls in spirit that I'm talking about? I want to make sure that they're for you, my darling. Well, I, I, yes, I, the person in the uniform, um, I'm not sure about the G, but okay. I, I'm thinking okay. possibly my dad. Okay. What was his name, just out of interest? Because there's lots of names being thrown at me at the moment from Spirit. Uh, and that's his name into... was Anthony Francis. It's okay. So it's Anthony. Well, I, what, when you speak to your family, just ask your family, who was George next to him? Because it, it must have been somebody that was important to him because he's promoting you. But when a father comes through, they often will be dad or father you know, and not, I won't be able to connect their name. It doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes that happens. But that name of George was very prominent and being shouted at. Okay. Now, who is Victoria? Do you know a V or Victoria at all? I do not. It, nothing comes okay. to mind. Okay. Well, it must be victory then. Um, often that's a, a word that's associated with um, with people in uniform. And of course, here in the UK, we have the Victoria Cross as well. Very, very prominent <laughs> um, medal. So I, I, I am guessing because I've got that connection that um, your Anthony, your father, was very important in his role in his uniform, was he? Um, I, you know, I think that at that time played an important part in his life. Yeah, okay. Well, I, th I think he made a difference, you know, he made a difference. And I think you do too, in your personality too. I think that you can... Um, really show the way you show other people what to do how to get there and really how to i think make a command you know sort of command your presence it's about your presence that's what i am seeing here and it's lovely this strong personality um that i feel is is really forceful so you're taking on a role that's what's happening next. Um, it's either a new project, new job, or you know, just something new that you want to start. Um, but you will be finding that it's very powerful and very successful. Your heart here then. So are you involved in a relationship now? Do you feel as though you've just been smothered in love because I've got love coming all around you and your heart being protected? Does that make sense to you? <coughs> Uh, yes, I've been in a marriage for 35 years and yeah, I do Great. feel loved and protected. So. Yeah, yeah, it's it's gorgeous really. It's all around you. This this love is coming in and you've got this blue light. It's an, like an aurora, which is those uh, wonderful bright lights in the sky that we get, the northern lights. And that seems to be all around you. So it's part of what you're feeling at the moment and you're being given protection as well in your heart chakra. So that's very important. It's really strong position for you. And I feel, Alison, that um, this is, is very, very important. I've, I've just been sort of just given a hint here from my producer that you are living in a town called Aurora. Is that right? Yes, I am. There you go. So we've given you that. Spirit have come through. Your father's come through and said, well, I can see Aurora. So this is your protection around you. That's funny, isn't it? Sometimes it, it just takes a little bit of working out to, to find out exactly what it is that Spirit are wanting to say. So I'm pleased that we've got that through. We had Mary earlier for our first caller and we've now got your father telling you about the town that you live in, which is Aurora, and this celebration of love. Um, now, have you had any stress here at heart? 
um, blood pressure, anything like that, spiking. If you have, or if you're feeling a bit out of breath, a bit sort of overly concerned, then your father is saying to you, do not be worried. What was it about the wheelbarrow with him? Did he, did he do lots of gardens or are you doing a garden at the moment? You're digging up lots of earth and planting things. Is that something that you're up to right now? Yes, that's something that I'm currently doing. Is it? Okay. Yep. Well, he's, he's with you. He's watching you do it. <laughs> that's so <laughs> funny. That's really so funny. I think he just wanted to give you that little bit of evidence to say, look, I'm here. I'm here. It's Anthony. I'm your dad. I'm here. And George is with him too. <laughs> Ask your family. Ask your family and friends. Find out who he is. It's been wonderful speaking to you. We're coming right to the end of our show now, but uh, that's that's wonderful. Congratulations on getting that Thank message uh, from your father. And I'm wishing Thank you well. So there we are, guys. I mean, it's been a, an odd, odd sort of show. We had a bit of a break in communication, but the communication has been amazingly strong from spirit. So I've been Eleanor Grace, and I will see you same time next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>